Hi, my name is Alex and I'm with Bitrix24, an online collaboration and project management platform that's used now by over 10 million companies worldwide. In this video, we're going to talk all about the Gantt chart in project management. Let's get right into it. So, what is a Gantt chart? Well, since there is no official academic definition of this term, we can simply define the Gantt chart as one of the most popular tools used in project management to track activities and objectives displayed against the planned time for their completion, as well as the exact time of their actual duration. What is a Gantt chart used for? Well, mainly for projects that require a clear visual approach to display upcoming tasks, as well as the time allocated for their development, and the next plan steps. Here's a Gantt chart example. Similar to any other chart, activities are listed on the left side, while the time scale sits at the top. Horizontal bars are used to represent every single task with added information, such as the person it is assigned to, their exact start date in relation to other tasks, their duration, as well as the projected end date. That gives everyone a clear insight into the overall work progress. Gantt charts can also feature task dependencies that show how different tasks are related to each other. So now that you understand what Gantt charts are, let's see how to make a Gantt chart and how to use one for your project. Here we have prepared a few practical tips for you to ensure that each and every project is finished in a timely manner and with as little deviation from the original plan as possible. The first and most important step of every project is clearly defining the start and the end dates. This is especially true for Gantt charts, where that time duration needs to be further divided into elements to build a good workflow. In order to create a solid Gantt chart, you need to know all of the processes involved, from start to finish. Collaborate with your team to explore all the necessary procedures and start writing them down, even before you start creating the chart itself. Start from the most important aspect and slowly go into each and every detail. Think about how to work all that into original time frame and finish it with the amount of human resources that you have at your disposal. The biggest benefit of Gantt charts is that they visually represent the whole project, so you can group various tasks together under specific headings. This is show everyone what needs to be done and at what time with a single glance at a chart. You can even create subtasks, which can come in pretty handy when you're working on a big project. Visualization can be pretty effective and is probably one of the biggest advantages of Gantt charts, especially because people tend to perceive things better when they are presented with different colors. Use them for different milestones so that everyone can have a clear picture of what needs to be done and when. Make sure you mark related tasks with the same color. Defining dependencies between elements is very important, since these dependencies show the importance of each and every step and how it will influence the other elements in the chart. This serves not only as a motivational factor, but also reduces the chance of an error. Dependencies are usually presented with an arrow, visually indicating and defining the sequence of events. This way, you minimize the chance of people starting less important tasks first and neglecting the main ones. Gantt Project Chart is truly one of the most effective project management tools. It helps both managers and staff maintain high levels of productivity while also serving as a constant reminder of how important every step is and how the actions of every individual matter. If you're looking for a simple and easy to use Gantt chart tool, try Bitrix24. It's free project management software that features tasks, projects, Gantt charts, Kanban board, chats, online meetings, time tracking, and plenty of other collaboration tools for your team. You can get your free account right here or use the link in the description below. Meanwhile, that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching, we hope you've learned something new today. If so, be sure to give this video a like, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel as well. We produce lots of cool content on project management, sales, marketing, so there's always something to watch. Take care and see you next time.